Welcome to this video. Today I want to do just a brief overview of how to use Avast on a Mac computer just because I've noticed there's been a lot of comments and confusion on some of my Mac videos because Avast has made an update to their program and the layout and interface has changed. So I just want to do a brief quick overview of how to use the new program in conjunction with those videos. Now to start out, just to be clear, you can still use the free version. You just have to click on this big green button that says continue with free and it will let you continue in with just the free version. Now I do just want to make it clear, I'm not going to go over every single feature. I'm just going over the main functions that are needed in conjunction with those Mac cleaning videos. And so to start off, I want to go over how you update this program. Now the easiest way is you can just come up here, click on Advanced, and click on Check for Updates. And it will go ahead and do that right there. There's also a second way to do that where you just come over to the menu, go to Settings, and then underneath general, there's a big green update now button, but you'll also notice that by default, the automatic update should be checked, but you always wanna make sure to double check it just because there are some cases where it's not. Now to run a scan, you'll notice there is an option to run a Mac scan right there, and this scan will work for most people. However, I recommend doing the deep scan option just because in some cases, this will pick up items that the normal or regular standard scan will not. So I do recommend that you go with the deep scan. It does take longer, but often the results are better. You can see it's scanning right there. You'll just want to go ahead and let it run until completed. And then if it does find any results, it will list them. Now, as far as those Mac cleaning videos go, that's really all you need to know how to do is how to update the program and then run the deep scan. After that, you can go ahead and remove the software. And so what we're going to do is Normally on a Mac, you can just come here and click on the applications icon and drag it to the trash. However, you'll notice that this message pops up when you try to do that now. So you can you can no longer go that route. And so if I go back here to Avast, when you have it open, just click here on Avast in the top left corner, select uninstall right there, and then uninstall again, and it will remove the program for you. You will have to type in your admin password. And now we can see the uninstallation is complete. We can see the icon is no longer up here on the top right hand side. And if we want to get rid of these icons down at the bottom, we just hold control, click on the icon, go to options, remove from dock, do it again, hold down control, click with the mouse, go to options and then remove from dock and it's gone. So I hope that helps as far as eliminating some of the confusion on how to use this new interface. But if you still have questions, please post them down below. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.